Ah, okay. Pero ya perdimos, ya perdimos porque viene el teacher. Sí, ya perdimos. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Good teacher. evening. Hello, how are you? Good evening. Uh, I am fine, teacher, and you? Very well, thank you. Very happy. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, how was your weekend? Um, is the same. The same. Uh, the same. Uh, going to church. I, uh, I'm going to <laughs> church. Uh, um, solo que este fin de semana, diría. ¿Cómo sería? On... Solo que este fin de semana hicimos algo diferente. Ah, we did something. Uh -huh. Maybe you can say we did something different. We did something different. I, uh, we... My family and me, así sería, va. Yeah. I, uh, um, ¿Cómo sería? Fuimos. Went, went. Went, went, a, we went a visit um, my family uh, a Sonsonate. <laughs> a tu Sonsonate. Tu Sonsonate. Yes, tu Sonsonate. Oh, nice. Very good. Nice. Yes. And you, Miguel, how was your weekend? And Darwin? Very large. Very large. Oh my goodness, why large? Uh, this this day don't, don't work. Oh really? Yes. So you have three days it's a, off. It's a two. brinch. It's a brinch of my of my my work. Oh it's really? A brinch? Yes. Yeah. Brinch yeah. is it's puente. Mm -hmm. There's a bridge. Uh -huh. A bridge. Yes. Brinch. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bridge. For not working tomorrow. Yes, yes, tomorrow too. Now it's working. Oh, I see. I see. I imagine. <laughs> Very interesting. Yes. Hello, yes, Darwin. Yes. How was your day? How was your weekend? Hello, teacher. Hello. In my case, a little heavy. Oh, really? Yesterday. Really? Yesterday. Because yesterday, yesterday uh, was the end of the month. Yeah. In my work, in my work today, uh, delivery the report finally. Oh my goodness! I'm sorry about that. So you had to work. Medio día. Until noon. Until noon. Until noon yesterday. Oh my goodness! I'm sorry about that. Working on a Sunday is not easy. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Osmin, hello, Ada, and Flor. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Oh, nice. Hi, fine. Oh, very good. <laughs> you feeling better, Flor? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Michelle is texting. She's on the way, she's saying. Okay. Okay, so we are going to uh, start then. Okay, it's good, it's good to see you today. Uh, today is the last week, right? Okay, so basically yes. um, we've, we don't have classes tomorrow. Okay, so please don't get connected tomorrow. Don't get connected tomorrow because tomorrow is a day off, all right? So it's a national day and international in some places, right? So tomorrow we have no classes, all right? And on Wednesday, we have classes and we finish on Thursday, okay? Y terminamos el jueves. We finish on Thursday, okay? So we are very close, all right? And I, and I wanted to read a message here, okay? Por aquí me, me comentan. Yo estoy, no sé si es que estaba un poquito confundido. Hasta ahorita vi el mensaje. Pero por aquí me dicen, hola, buen día. Y la persona que me saluda, ¿verdad? Inglés corporativo, por supuesto. Eh, y me están pidiendo de favor que actualicen las notas de los estudiantes en el control de notas de asistencia dice hoy 01 del 11 del 2021 para ajá así que me imagino que me lo están pidiendo para que vayamos avanzando con tiempo pero me están pidiendo que actualice entonces quizás yo me he confundido eh, porque la, la según entiendo la, la, ustedes saben que las notas siempre son para el último día verdad para el último día de clases entonces sí. pero me están comentando por acá no 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 me han contestado pero que actualice el, el control de notas, dice, y asistencia. 
Entonces voy a revisar, tal vez es alguna asistencia que no he subido, pero me, me imagino que es lo último. Ok, es la última parte, es la última sección, infiero, ¿verdad? Así que ya voy a hacer una consulta, tal vez me contestan. Ok, y yo les hago saber durante la clase, por si les toca desvelarse hoy. Se refiere a la, a la, a la, a la plataforma, a, a la, a la plat al trabajo. Sí, porque dice, eh, sí, porque es para las notas, dice. Entonces, Ajá, imagínate. Porque... Sí, porque las notas Pero... se sacan de la plataforma prácticamente. Ajá. Uh -huh. porque... Entonces, sí, sí, adelante, Ángel. Perdón, no, como terminamos esta semana, obviamente que terminamos la cuarta, creo que es verdad. Sí, la semana la cuarta, la más el examen final. Correctamente. Uh -huh. Sí, pero voy a hacer la consulta porque ya, ya ahorita ya no, me, ya no me contestó el chico porque ya estaba fuera de trabajo, creo yo, de horas laborales, pero ya voy a ver si me contacto con alguien más para hacer la consulta. ¿Ok? Teacher. Yeah. Teacher. Ya. Yeah. Eh, estaba viendo lo, de, lo del uso del Will, pero no, no logro ver dónde es que vimos ese tema. Today. El uso del Will. It's today. Ah, porque... Ahora ah, lo vamos a estudiar. Las grabaciones dicen use the will, pero no, no hablamos lo, de eso. Sí, ¿no? no, todavía no hemos llegado. Hoy lo vamos a ver. Ah, es que como es la, es la segunda tarea que está sí. ahí. Sí, entiendo. Ahora okay. lo vamos a ver eso, Sandra. Ah, ok. Thank yeah. you. Ok, thank you. Ok, so let's start then. Let me pass you the attendance. Ada? Present. Adriana, Ana Michelle, Ana Angela, present teacher, Darwin, present teacher, Flor, present teacher, Gloria, here, Joana, Lourdes, Margarita, Mayra, Miguel, present teacher, Nelson, Ophelia, oh, Ophelia uh -huh. said she was not coming today, right? Ophelia, Osmin, yeah. mm -hmm. Osmin, present teacher, good evening, good evening, Rafael, present teacher, Rosa, Sandra. Present teacher. Ok. Um, Jansi. Present. Zulma. Present. Azalia. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Ingrid. En Susana. Present. Ok. Okay, so uh, then we are going to uh, start, uh, but before we start, uh, I remember that on, yes, on Friday, okay, on Friday, uh, you were working on some questions, right? Do you remember that you answered some questions? Yes. So did you finish? I said that in case you didn't finish, you were supposed to complete in your house, right? Yeah, for today. Te dije que si en caso no habían terminado el viernes, que lo completaran para hoy, para que lo tuvieran eso. So do you have it ready? Are you ready to share? Yes. Están listos? Are you ready? Yes, yes, no? Okay. If you don't have everything, just share what you have, okay? So listen, uh, here, here's the, the task, okay? So the idea uh, was to answer these questions, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. To uh, determine your skills and knowledge at work. Okay, and to decide uh, if you need a training and what training solutions would you prefer and to identify this you were supposed to answer the questions okay yeah so this is a process uh, this is about this about this process do you remember that you started this process here analyze the job identify personal current skills blah 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 so you were supposed to complete here on page number 35 okay how are you going to share Como van a compartir? how are you going to share okay so maybe uh, because we are going to do it in groups. Lo vamos a hacer en equipos. So you will say, for example, okay, uh, so my name is um, Bernardo, and what activities do I need to perform in my job? 
and then you say um i need to to check email i need to check merchandise blah 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 uh, what specific skills do i need to perform in my job and then you say for example um uh, the skills i need or i need um proactivity uh teamwork um, initiative responsibility all right am i skilled to perform my job yes i am you can say i don't know okay next question are there any skills i lack and that could help me do my job better Ah, you say oh yes uh for example i need um to use excel i need to use excel a lot okay in the final question what type of training program would be helpful to develop the skills i lack and okay uh, what type of training program would you be helpful to develop the skills I lack? And then you talk about the training program, right? For example, um, an online training, uh, some meetings in the in my work, uh, or some sessions. I don't know. Okay. What are some training solutions that do not conflict with my schedule and my personal life? Ah, okay. And then you can say. Um, some training solutions are, and then you give the solutions, right? Yeah. Uh, online programs, we have some examples, okay? And on the job training, mentoring, blah, 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 okay? So the idea was that you answer these questions, yeah? So the questions are on page number 35. Las preguntas están en la página 35, okay? So we are going to work in a small groups. And in a small groups, you share your work. Solo van a compartir su trabajo, okay? If your classmates want to ask questions, no problem. You can listen to them and you can answer the questions, okay? So we are going to work in small groups, like three maximum, okay? Any question? Any question? Sulma, are you going to participate? Yes, teacher. Okay, Lourdes. Rafael. Okay. Okay, um, so then let's start. So the idea is that you share. No teacher, I, I only answer two questions. Share what you have, compartan lo que tienen, share what you have, okay? Yeah, I said you have to be ready for today, right? Dije que se, se, se prepararan para hoy, okay? So just share what you have, okay? Questions, everything clear? It's clear, teacher. Okay, yes, it's clear, teacher. Okay, perfect, let's go then. Let's make uh, small groups. Ejemplo, ¿Qué actividades yo necesito para mejorar en mi trabajo? Sería la uno. A tener ahí la respuesta. En este caso, uso de, no sé, de, en el, en, como es un caso diferente, para acuerdo al lugar de trabajo. Pero podemos hacer una, no sé, una sola quizás. ¿Cuáles fueron sus respuestas? Eh, en, en, en mi respuesta, digamos, donde dice qué actividades necesito. What, what activities do you need? Uh -huh. Do I need? Do, do you need to perform in your job? No. Uh -huh. yeah. mm, in my case, activities in, in, 
aspectos of security, actividades en, en, en seguridad, por ejemplo, en aspectos de seguridad, esa sería la respuesta. Pero en el caso, digamos, de usted, en el caso de, de otra compañera, como esas, es en my job, o sea, en, en mi trabajo, una respuesta personal. No sé si podemos hacer un solo o no, no preguntar individualmente. It's per, remember that it's personal, ¿ok? So, um, you have one answer, Flor needs to have a different answer, Asalia Melanie another answer, and Zulma another answer, because it's personal, ¿ok? So, what you need, uh, Osmi, is to share only. Lo que necesitan es solamente compartir con sus compañeros, ¿ok? To share what you have, compartir lo que tienen, ¿ok? In my case, um, no estuve en la clase. Mm -hmm. Ni Zulma. Entonces, okay. no, por eso no, no estábamos escuchando ahí a, a Don Ah, okay. ah ok. It's, it's fine then. It's okay. Teacher, eh, yo estaba revisando en la plataforma que está, esta parece que es la primera actividad pero ahí no, no entiendo qué es lo que vamos a hacer en, en la plataforma. Vamos a oh. poner la pregunta como tal. Let me check, all right. Ah, ok. okay. Sí, porque está exactamente lo mismo de, de, esta, de lo que estamos trabajando. Ok, let me check. Ajá. Let me check. Ok. Continue, continue, please. All right. Uh, um, good evening. Good evening. O sea, que, o sea que Zulma y Flor no han respondido nada. Como no estuvieron en la clase el, el viernes. Y esa es Salvia. Sí, ha respondido. No. <laughs> No, como dijo que no habíamos respondido, por eso le digo que yes. Ah, ok. No, no hemos respondido. Um, vaya, entonces, um, la primera es, ¿qué actividades debe, realiz debe realizar en su trabajo? What activities do I need to perform in my job? In my case, um, I organize my case work, make calls, check WhatsApp messages and mails. Yes, that's good. And number two is Identify my current style and knowledge. Uh, what is yes. yes. ¿Qué habilidades específicas necesito para realizar mi trabajo? Uh -huh. My case is uh, have a good presentation, have knowledge, cap speed, be nice and friendly. Friendly. Number three, uh, desire skill and no let you cut. Number three, are, are there any skill I like? Are there any skill I like? I like. No sé cómo se I like. And I that could help me do my job better. Que es, hay alguna habilidad que me falte y que pueda ayudarme a hacer mejor mi trabajo. The answer is yes or no. Or no. Yes or no. Y la puede. How, how, no, how more knowledge, knowledge and training in my area. Number four, identify training solution. 
question is what type of training program will, will be helpful to develop the skills I like I like ¿Qué tipo de programa de capacitación sería útil para desarrollar las habilidades que bloqueo? My case is trainings in the different Microsoft programs. What are some training solutions that do not conflict with my work? schedule in my personal life. ¿Cuáles son algunas de las soluciones de formación que no entran en conflicto con mi horario de trabajo y mi vida personal? Is respect the schedule or request permission in advance. Hasta ahí quedé yo, teacher. Ah, está bien. Sí, Okay, thank you, Asalia. Uh, just something for Flor quickly. Lo vimos en la clase anterior, Flor. Eh, ahí están unas definiciones o unas descripciones de esos pasos. E hicimos un matching, un emparejamiento en la clase. Así que en la clase anterior ahí lo puedes ver. Okay, thank you. Okay, continue. Okay, okay teacher. Sorry, Asalia. No, en la página 35 le estaba diciendo. Ah, pero okay. ya, ya la tiene. Ya la tiene. Ya. Yeah. No, no, yo le comentaba de que la, lo que me sabe. Ella me hizo una consulta acerca de una tarea. Y está en la página 36. Ahí hicimos eso. 34, perdón. Page 34. 34. Yeah. Ajá, sí. Teacher, y en cuanto a esta pregunta em, que dice online programs. Online programs on the job training and mentoring. Ahorita. Eh, es que no hemos llegado pero, a eso todavía. Pero allí mismo está. Uh, sí, pues eso, sí, no sí, si no me equivoco, lo vamos. Sí, si no me equivoco, lo vamos a ver ahora. Ok, we are going to study that today. Ok. Son las últimas preguntas. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Sí, porque no le, no le yeah. entiendo. Don't worry. I don't know if it's today or tomorrow that we are going to study that. Oh, it's tomorrow. I mean, on Wednesday, sorry. Because tomorrow we have no classes, okay? Yes. Okay. Osmin, ¿y usted qué ha contestado, Osmin? Okay. Uh... In online and face-to-face -face workshop. Uh... Okay, I, I, um, Miguel, ¿Sí? analyze the job. What, what activities do you need to perform in your job? Okay, I, uh, the activities when I take, uh, when I have in my job is, for example, teamwork, have effective communication and planning strategies. Right. Strategies. Okay. Um, identify current skill and knowledge. What if a specific skill do you need to perform in your job? Uh, are you skilled to perform your job? Uh, <clears throat> identify uh, my current skills and knowledge is a uh, by example, proactive, organization, and leadership. Okay. The size, skill, and knowledge. Okay. Are there any, any skill you lack and that could help, help you do? And help you do your job better? Okay, the, the skill and knowledge gaps when I need, it's, uh, it's for example, project models, uh, process development model, and emotional intelligence management. Uh, number four, identify training solution. What 
type of training program will be helpful to the, develop the skill you lack? What are some training solutions that do you not conflict with your work schedule in your personal life, on the programs, on the job training, mentoring? Okay, uh, the training solution what uh, that don't don't conflict with my work schedules and my personal life are uh, online programs. Uh, yeah, the type of training when I think is project management. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> okay I ask Ada. Yes. First, analyze the job. What activities do you need to perform in your job? Mm, in my job is tape faster with suitable equipment. Okay, only one activity, okay? Only one. Okay, and number two, identify your current skills and knowledge. What specific skill do you need to perform your job? And, and um, and are, are you skilled to perform your job? Okay, take online course on in computer program, for example, Excel, and we know very well each of the tools of the Word pro program. Okay, in, in this, uh, aquí quizá voy a, voy a empezar. En esta segunda, voy a la, la segunda parte, aquí dice que son las, las habilidades que tú uh -huh. necesitas para desarrollar tu, tu trabajo, ¿verdad? Okay. ¿Sí? Okay. Es que le había entendido que era como, como relacionada a la siguiente, pero no. Ok, ok, number three. Eh, decide skills and knowledge gaps. Are there any skills you lack and that could help you do your job better? Of course, because I have to work with different pro computer programs. Okay, identify training solution. What type? In training, in training and online programs. Online programs. Okay. Yes. And in my case, training about the income terms updates and training of advanced Excel and, in, and training or, or finish my English course. Okay. Um... Full English. <laughs> yes. yes, I need it. Tofel. <laughs> the class English finished in two years. Yes. It's a, it's a large way. <laughs> it's a goal of future. <laughs> it's a meta of future. Huh? Yes. yes. Así es. Este, Son cuatro. Un, un, un comercial. Este, teacher, usted mandó ahora que ya estaba recibiendo lo, lo de la, para llenar la verdad, lo de la encuesta. Y la mandaron más tarde, Darwin. Vaya, es que les voy a comentar. Yo, no sé si se recuerdan que le, desde la semana pasada les mencioné que yo había tenido un problema, que a mí no me había llegado el correo de reinscripción. Pues a mí ese correo, ahora me hablaron para decirme que no me había inscrito, pero porque a mí en sí no me llegó el correo. Entonces, ahora quise hacer todas las gestiones y no sé si tampoco me va a caer el correo de la para llenar la, la encuesta. Entonces, la eso encuesta. se me olvidó preguntarle. O sea, que no mandó la documentación. 
No, yo me dijo, me dijo Jimmy que me daba hasta el miércoles para poder inscribirme. O sea, yo no ah, estoy inscrito para el otro curso. Pero para este, en ese módulo sí estás escrito, Darwin. Para el módulo 2. Ajá. Sí, pero, pero la encuesta. Es que no, me he inscrito. no, pero la encuesta siempre va a llegar porque esa encuesta es de este módulo, de este, de este módulo en el que estamos. <coughs> Ajá, ah, pero la encuesta es que no está inscrito para el otro módulo. Sí, pero la encuesta siempre llega porque es del módulo presente. Pero ese sí es problema, que no estés inscrito para el otro módulo. Hay que agilizar eso. Ajá. Y voy a decir, si más que mañana es feriado, no, no llega la gente de recursos humanos en mi empresa. Entonces, solo tendría el miércoles. Y si dicen ustedes que ya recibieron la encuesta, igual a mí no me cayó otra vez el correo. O sea, no, no. Pero en no. WhatsApp lo mandaron. Al mm. grupo de WhatsApp lo mandaron. No, no, no. Eh, Darwin, no es que ya les cayó la encuesta. Yo solo les adelanté que les va a caer y que estén pendientes no, y que no la vayan a hacer. Es lo que es la no, cayó que yo les... Hola. Cayó al, al, al más tardecito, cayó el mensaje de la encuesta. Ah, pero no, le, ya les cayó a ustedes el mensaje de la encuesta de satisfacción. En el grupo vi que cayó, Ticho. Mm, pero... No, pero no cayó el enlace. No fue el enlace. ¿Cómo no? Cayó. Aquí está. Es que yo vi que cayó un correo, pero no era el enlace. Mm -hmm. Ajá, era otra cosa, porque dice, les recuerdo que estamos a tres clases de finalizar el módulo actual, por lo cual les hago en serio la más atenta invitación a que no vayan a faltar este día a clases, ya que algunos que requieren y ahí habla, ¿verdad? Entonces, mm -hmm. este, Sí, es, de, de, es como un recordatorio para que no falten a clases. No es el, no es el enlace. Ah, okay. Es que el enlace okay. le va a estar cayendo en estos días, según entiendo, el miércoles. ¿Ok? A más tardar. Entonces, la, 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 lo que yo le solicitaba es que no fueran a, a, a completarla porque siempre se hace en la clase, ¿verdad? Esa era la sugerencia, pero no es que ya se lo mandaron. Sí, el otro que cayó el recordatorio de clases, de las Correct. últimas tres clases. Correctamente. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, pues voy a estar pendiente el miércoles del correo de la encuesta y de ver que tal vez por la mañana sí. me, me logren inscribir. Ajá, y si no te cae durante el día, me lo haces saber durante la noche para yo preguntar y que te lo envíen el jueves temprano. ¿La encuesta? Sí, sí, el mensaje de la encuesta de satisfacción. Uh -huh. Ok, perfecto. Ok, so did you finish? Yes. Yes, okay, that's yes. it. Just let me visit the other group and then we go, okay? Teacher. And, and the work. Okay. Yes. Next. So is that finish? What, what, uh, finish? No. Yes, is that, is the first question. Next question. Um, what is the, what the specific skills do you need to perform your job? Mm. <laughs> well, in the moment, um, I think uh, organizing the, the 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 task the next the next week in the area, yes. And the other uh, is uh, effect to, effect to uh, the meeting that explain the project and the development in my, my area, yeah. Are there any skin you lack and that could help you do <laughs> in your in your job where again please are there any skill you lab and that could help you do in your job where como la pregunta es como para nosotros, yo se la estoy haciendo. La estoy tratando de traducir para usted. Porque dice, are there any skill I, I lack? Sería you lack, ¿verdad, teacher? 
Yes. Yeah, yeah. I see. Well, the editor first the the question. Uh, um, give me a time. Give me a moment. Ah. Ah, okay. Uh, for example, in my in my area, is is difficult. Um, Uh, the mama word word team yeah, uh, in the moment it is necessary uh, i think i think it trabajo en equipo yeah okay um, next chicas next what type of training program will be helpful to develop the skills you lack? Well, um, for example, uh, I I need the uh, organize a new new development or new project. Uh, for example, uh, Maintenance and the server. Uh, 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 is that? Yes. I'm sorry. I no, lost. So because I lost. I have. <laughs> yes, I have problem with apply in in uh, in the meeting because when I open the the link uh, i the link uh, no apply no no open in the meeting the the the, the is a four because uh, okay. uh, uh, um, difficult go, go on out, other apply is willing in the in the world mm -hmm. i have the installation new applies in difficult yes oh, okay. sorry sorry miguel no, no problem. Okay, uh, okay. I was just letting you talk, okay? So uh, thank you very much uh, for taking the time to practice. Give me a moment. Solo dame un momento. Voy a cerrar la puerta del cuarto. Give me a moment, please. Okay, teacher. Hello, Darwin. Hello, everybody. Salia. Hello, Nelson. Hello, Don Nelson. I'm sorry about that. Because Hi. My... No problem, teacher. The problem is that my kid is talking a little, a little out loud. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, parts of the no family. Problem, teacher. <laughs> All right. So, uh, thank you very much for uh, practicing. I know that not everybody finished. Okay. And that's okay. No problem. All right. So, the idea is that you completed in your house, right? And that you presented today all right that that was the the suggestion on friday okay um maybe just some recommendations quickly all right i know we are about to finish this module sé que estamos a punto de terminar este este módulo we are about to finish uh, but the idea is that uh, when you lack classes cuando faltan clases when you miss classes the idea is that you watch the video los videos se suben para que normalmente si tienen un espacio para que puedan ver el video y se pongan al día más o menos, ¿ok? Con lo que se ha visto en la, en la clase, ¿verdad? Entonces, para que vean ahí más o menos de lo que trató, si hay alguna actividad tal vez que yo no entendí, tener alguna pregunta para el profesor. Eso, that would be like the idea of that, ¿ok? So, that, that's, that's very important, ¿ok? And, in case you have questions, you can ask, ¿ok? Yes, Nelson. The, 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 the video is... is down in, in the in, in the moment it's up uploaded ah, yeah. it's uploaded yes. yes all videos of the classes are uploaded at 8 a.m the next day all right for example that's the video sad. yes okay. that's that uh, last week i i share uh, one video I, I know class but i know and this in the site oh it was not on the site no Oh, what I know is that uh, 
Well, we are requested, actually we are the teachers, right? The facilitators. Uh, we are requested uh, to upload the video to YouTube before 8 a.m., all right? And so, sometimes we do it a little late, but not, no later than nine, okay? But it's only once in a while, maybe. And they upload the videos to the platform, okay? So the idea is that the videos of the classes are on the platform the next day. That's the idea, okay? Tal vez algún pequeño retraso a veces, pero no es mucho. It's not that much. Yeah, okay, but the video is on the platform, okay? For you to see the important things of the class, okay? Yeah, okay, uh, so as I said, thank you very much. And well, um, respecto a lo que les decía al principio, okay? Estaba un poquito confundido, pero ya me aclararon. Eh, lo que me están diciendo es normal, lo, lo que me dicen es que se pongan al día nada más con las tareas hasta, el, hasta este día, es decir, que las lleven al día, ¿ok? Es decir, si hoy van, vemos el tema de Will, que hagan la tarea de Will, ¿all right? ¿Ya? Yeah. So eso es lo que me están recomendando, nada más, ¿ok? Así que para que vayamos al día, no que lo dejemos para, para última hora, para completarlo el jueves. Esa es la recomendación, así que Esa es la recomendación que, 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 les, que les paso, ¿verdad? También, de que si van, si no han empezado a trabajar la sección número 3, que ya con algunas cositas que vimos ya pueden empezar a trabajarla, por supuesto. Por ejemplo, la tarea número 1 ya la pueden trabajar, ¿ok? Yeah. El vocabulario yeah, yeah. Que, que ya vimos, ¿ok? Así que yeah. esa sería la, la recommendation, ¿ok? Yeah. Ok, thank you. All right. Um, now we are going to go to the next uh, activity and in the next um, activity, we have some discussion questions, okay? Well, we always have some discussion questions, right? So let me uh, share with you. In these questions, we have this. This is on page number 36, okay? So question number one is, is it only new employees who need training? So the meaning is that, is training only for new employees? What do you think? Maybe you can say, uh, no, it isn't, because training can be for new employees and all employees, all right? Yeah, you can say that. What do you do personally, right? You, you, okay? So what do you do if you are a manager? Imagine you are a manager. What do you do if you are a manager and an employee comes to you asking for a training? Imagine Nelson is the manager and I come, Hey, Mr. Nelson, uh, look, I need a training in human resources management. So what, what do you do, Nelson? ¿Qué hacen? What do you do in case we have this situation, okay? So please, let's take a moment and let's answer the two questions. So I repeat, in question number one is, is it only, I mean, new employees who need training? Or for you, you think that all employees need training too. So what do you think? All right, so that's the question here.
I'll give you two more minutes because I can see you are working, okay? So you have two more minutes to finish and then we discuss, okay?
Okay, everyone. I hope uh, that, that everybody finished answering the questions. So uh, for question number one, the pronunciation is, is it on me? Is it on me? All right, is it on me? Is it on me new employees who need training? Is it only new employees who need training? What do you do? What do you do? Okay, what do you do if you are a manager and an employee comes to you asking for training? What do you do if you are a manager and an employee comes to you asking for a training? So these questions are on page number 36. Okay, page number 36. Okay, so uh, we are going to start uh, with this. And for that, so does everybody have the answers? Does everybody have the answers? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. All right, very good. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, Miguel, can you give me a number from 1 to 20, please? Any number 20. from 1 to 15? Uh, 1 to 15. Yes. Uh, 11. 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, you are number 11 in, on my list, Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, seriously, seriously. If I send you a screenshot, you are number 11 on my list because okay. Nelson, number one, two. Nine, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I 10, looky. 11. I yes. looky. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. And I will take a picture for you to see that I'm not lying, okay? <laughs> Para que veas que no estoy mintiendo, voy a tomar una foto. Por, una foto. Porque puedes pensar que yo intencionalmente te elegí a ti, okay? <laughs> So I will take a picture. I trust you. I trust you. Okay, very good. <laughs> <laughs> you are very lucky. Okay, okay, let's see. Let, let's see, Miguel. Um, I will ask you the questions, okay? It's... So question number one is, is it only new employees who need training? No, uh, it should be for all employees. What do you do if you are a manager and an employee comes to you asking for training? Okay, I think it must be analyzed if the training reinforces any uh, of the skills or knowledge that the job needs. Okay, that's very interesting. Okay, thank you very much, Miguel. All right, okay. let's see, Miguel, tell me another number that is not 11, okay? Another number, not 11, okay? Uh, 13. <laughs> Sorry? 13. 13, okay, let's see, yes. 13 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 10, 13, Lourdes, all right, so this is for you, Lourdes, I'm sending you a screenshot, Miguel, so for you to see that you're number 11, you were number 11 on my list, okay? Thank you, Miguel. Okay, <laughs> Lourdes, um, question number one for you. Is it only new employees who need training? No, also all employees, because always is necessary uh, to learn new things or uh, there are updates of programs, etc. Exactly, okay, that's, that's very real. Okay, thank you very much. Number two, what do you do if you are a manager and an employee comes to you asking for a training? In my case, I hear to the employee uh, and I ask in what specific areas need to improve. And I will appreciate for he want to improve his develop in his work. All right, so you will give him or give her the chance. Yes, yes. Okay, because very interesting. He is the, the, the company um, receiviría. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, uh, we'll receive a benefit. Yes, yes. Yes, definitely. Okay. So, yeah, the company will get benefits out of it. Yeah, thank you very much, Lourdes. Tell me a number from one to 10, Lourdes, please. From one to 10. Um, seven. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rosa, okay. You're number seven. Is it only new employees who need training, Rosa? No, I think that all employees uh, need a training. Yes, that's right. And very, I mean, they need uh, training usually, right? Very, oh, like yeah, very usually. frequently. Okay, yeah. thank you. Number two, what do you do if you are a manager and an employee comes to you asking for a training? 
Uh, oh my God. It's number two. Uh, ask, ask, ask him for a training, that he needs a training. Yeah. Um, yes, yes I, I, I give I, the, the chance. You give uh, them the chance. Yes, I give them the chance to to escribe. How do you say escribe? Enroll. Yeah, what? or you can say enroll is like matricular. Ah, enroll. Or subscribe. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Subscribe. Yeah, too. I think it, it depends uh, the skills that he or she show. Show. Mm. Maybe she show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That they show. The, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why not? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. That's very good. Thank you. Tell me a number from one to five, Rosa, please. Oh. From one to five, three. Three. One, two, three. Yeah. Ada Patricia. Okay, uh, Rosa, can you ask Ada Patricia the questions, please? Okay. It is, it is only, it is only new employees who need training. No, I think all the employees of the company should have training. Okay. What do you do if you are a manager and an employee comes to you asking for training? Well, I, I ask him in which area he is and I explain the various training that will be given. All right. That will be available, maybe you can say. Okay. Or will match uh, his or her abilities or skills. Okay, thank you very much uh, for the participations. Can you please, everybody, uh, can you please go to reactions and let's give them a heart? Okay, saying good job, saying congratulations, saying great, okay, saying way to go. Okay, thank you for you. Oh my, I like to see all these hearts on the screen. Okay, thank you very much for your participation, okay? So uh, just before we go to the next activity, let me pass the attendance, okay? Uh, but before I pass the attendance, uh, I don't know if uh, Anna Michelle, let me see, she was, yeah, Anna Whatever Michelle. Style. Yes. I'm I don't here. know if you remember that today you have the one-on-one -on -one session again. No, <laughs> I no recordaba. Sí, la re, re, bueno, le voy a hacer recordatorio. Recuerden que este, este módulo es de cinco semanas, ¿ok? Yes. Entonces, eh, luego las, las, en la última semana se vuelven a, a reenganchar, como decimos, se vuelven a repetir los primeros cinco, ¿ok? Así que en este caso ya, ya tuvimos a Ada, me parece, ¿verdad, Ada? Sí, teacher. Sí, ya se refiló a Ada. Eh, le, le, también a Adriana le tocaba refilarse. Y ahora le to te toca refilar, refilarte a ti, perdón, ¿ok? So you will okay. have to, 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 to stay again today, all right? Y vamos en el mismo okay. orden, luego sería Ángela otra vez y luego yes, sería Darwin, ¿ok? And then we have Darwin on el Thursday. El tres me okay. toca a mí. Yes, that's right. Ok, thank you. Yes, ah, thank notes. you. Ok, uh, yeah. so let me pass the attendance quickly before we go to the next activity. Ada Patricia. Here. Adriana. Present. Ana Michelle, thank you, Adriana. Present. Darwin. Me, teacher. Present, teacher. A quien no mencioné. A mí. Who me? Angela. I'm sorry, but I put the attendance here. Angela. <laughs> Present, teacher. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, Angela. Darwin. I was yes. going too fast, Angela. Iba, iba demasiado rápido. I was going too yes. fast. I'm yes. sorry. Okay, uh, Flor. Thank you. Present. Gloria. Here. Okay. Joanna. Joanna. Lourdes. Present. Margarita. Mayra. Present. Miguel. Present. Nelson. Present teacher. Ofelia. Solo de oye. Ofelia tiene. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's true. I remember. Mm -hmm. I forgot. Yes, Sorry. Osmin. Present teacher. Rafael. 
Present teacher. Rosa. Present. Sandra. Present teacher. Okay. Zulma. Present. Thank you very and much. Present. Zulma. Present. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Oh my goodness, I didn't say Jansi. I'm meeting names and today. Jansi oh, present. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Me estoy comiendo nombres ahora, meeting names today. Oh my goodness. Azalia. Pensé que me iba a comer también a mí, teacher. Present. The name. The name, Azalia. Ingrid. En Susana. No? Ok, very good. Uh, so let's go quickly to the next activity. And well, for today, we are going to study the use of will, right? And I guess activity number two or three in the platform, it's about will. Is number two or number three? Two. Is that, two. Ah, activity number two on the platform is about the use of will. So today we are going to study the use of will, all right? Okay, so let's go then. But before we study that, we have a conversation. And this conversation um, has, okay, has uh, some examples uh, about the use of, of will, okay? So uh, we are going to uh, see the conversation, but I want you to pay attention uh, to how will is used, all right? I want you to pay attention uh, about how will is used in the conversation, okay? So please, I will give you two minutes. In two minutes, read the conversation quickly and I will ask you some questions, okay? So read the conversation quickly. Read for comprehension. Ahorita van a leer para comprender. Read for comprehension in this moment. Is that pronunciation, okay? Comprehension. Okay, let's start. Okay, listen, uh, just something quickly. Um, when I ask, I will ask you some questions, obviously, right? I will ask you some questions, okay? So please, 
please, please, please. In case you have the answer for the question, go to reactions and raise your hand. Don't say the answer, okay? Go to reactions and answer the question, okay? I'll raise your hand and answer the question, please, okay? So the first person to raise the hand will have the opportunity to share the answer, okay? Yeah, clear? Very clear or not so clear? No teacher. Hello, okay. very clear. Clear. Yes, okay, that's perfect. Okay, let's start. Uh, let's start with question number one. Question number one is, uh, who will send an email to inform about the training? Who will send an email to inform about the training? Who, okay, who is going to send an email to inform about the training? Who will, who will send an email? Uh, yes, Ana Michelle? Diego. Ah, Diego, that's right. It says here, look, and you, Sara is talking to Diego, right? And Sara says, and you send them an email. It means Diego, right? Obviously, okay? Thank you, Ana Michelle. That's very good. Question number two. Um, what is the expected behavior? What is behavior? Do you remember? Behavior. Vimos esa palabra en una lectura. Behavior. What is behavior? Es comportamiento. 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 So the question is, what is the expected behavior of servers? What is the expected behavior of servers in the restaurant? Okay, Sulma has the answer, I think. Yes, Sulma, what is the expected behavior? Yes, they will be friendly. Ah, that's right. They have to be friendly. Friend friendly. They have to be friendly, exactly. You say have to be, the same, okay? Okay. They have to be friendly. friendly. Thank you, Sulma, that's correct, okay? Let's see, next question. Um, what uh, will they use to analyze the training needs? What will Diego and Stacy use to analyze the training needs? What? How will they analyze the training needs? Okay, Rosa. With a chart. Ah, that's right. They will use yeah. a, a chart. chart. A chart. What is chart? A tabla. Una tablita, okay, un cuadrito. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. So they will use a chart to analyze the training needs. Uh -huh. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, next question. Uh, do you remember what, what is the meaning of being charged of? Eso lo vieron en el módulo 2 o 1, creo. Being charged of. For example, I am in charge of uh, supervising employees. What is being charged of? Estar a cargo de... Encargar. Estar, encargado de... estar encargado de algo, estar a cargo de algo. Very good. So the next question is, what are the servers in charge of? What are the servers in charge of? What are their duties? Thanks. Uh, please raise your hand to answer. So let me repeat the question. What are servers in charge of, according to the conversation? Okay, I think Miguel has the answer. Okay, Miguel, what is the answer? What, what are servers in charge of? Charge of handling food currently and processing payments currently. Exactly, exactly. Servers or they, you can say they, they are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly, okay? Correctly. Two things, right? Yes, two things, handling food and processing payments correctly. Yes, what is handling food? Manejar la comida. Manejando la comida, that's right. Yeah, yeah, and it's a cargo de manejar la comida. Exactly, thank you, Miguel. And the last question, la última pregunta, the last question. Uh, when will the training take place or happen? When will the training happen? When will the training happen? Okay, Ana Michelle, 
Okay. Um, Sulma answered one, right? Anna Michelle, you didn't answer any question? You answered one question? Yes, right? No. Yes. Not for Anna I Michelle answered and... the first. Okay. I'm sorry, but not for Anna Michelle and not for Sulma, for somebody else. But I'll give us for some. Thank you, girls. Thank you very much. But I want others to answer. Quiero que otros también contesten. So I repeat the question. I will repeat the question. Um, when will the training take place? Okay, Sandra. Next Saturday. Ah, the next Saturday in the afternoon, right? In the afternoon. Next Saturday in, in the morning. Ah, in the morning. Thank you very much. I'm just trying to confuse you, all right? <laughs> okay, thank you, Sandra. Thank you very much. Now, okay, thank you for answering the questions. Now, please. Listen to the pronunciation carefully this time. Listen to the pronunciation carefully, okay? Okay, we start with Diego. Give me a moment, hold on a second. Okay, now let's start. Diego starts, right? We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. It says major tasks of the position. Ah, servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that, grooming and personal appearance. They look a bit messy. Okay. Let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Listen again. We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. It says major tasks of the position. Ah, servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance. They look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Page number 36. Three minutes to practice. All right? Take turns, tome turnos. Take turns, please. We will practice in pairs, okay? Three minutes to practice. So let's go and practice for a moment. Okay, let's go. Voy a... ¿A estar o yo estar? Solo deme un segundo que se me acaba de cerrar el libro. Por favor. Voy. You start, uh, Darwin. Okay. Diego, we will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. 
It says major task of the position. A server are in charge of hel of hel helping food correctly and processing payment correctly. Don't forget, servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that roaming. Um, personal appearance, they look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Okay. I start. Uh, we will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our server. It says major text of the position. Ah, servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payment correctly. Don't forget servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them then with that. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Nelson, okay. messy for you is messy, all right? They look a bit messy. messy. And for messy. Angela, organize. Messy. I will organize. I organize. Will organize. 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 Yes. And teacher and what is grooming. grooming? Yes, Gro grooming. Mm -hmm. Teacher, grooming. Grooming. And grooming. Grooming. Hay otra palabra de la que yo decía, don, don, don Nelson. Yeah. Eh. Dice, no la veo, se me perdió. <laughs> Appearance is appearance. Appearance, teacher. Appearance. 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 Yes. Appearance. Uh, messy, teacher. Messy. They look. Messy. Perdón? They look a bit messy. Messy. They look a bit messy. Jugador. Exactly. They okay. look a bit messy. Okay. 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 You start, uh, Diego. Yes. We will use this chart to anal analyze the training needs of our new servers. I say major tax at the position of server and in share of hiding food correctly and processing payment correctly. Don't forget server how to friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Growing and personal appearance, appearance, they look a bit messy. messy. Okay, let's have the short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Okay. Where we will use this chart to analyze the training need of or new server. It says major that of the position a server and the share of hundred full correctly and processing payments correctly. Correct correctly? Correctly. 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 Don't forget server have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that roaming and per Okay, I'm sorry. I know some people were still practicing, all right, but I said three minutes, right? And I gave you like four or five, okay? So thank you very much for uh, practicing. Thank you. Thanks a million. Okay, and now let's uh, let's listen to two pairs. All right, let's see. Um, Rosa participated in the last activity. So Rosa, tell me, uh, whose voice do you want to listen to? Not the people who participated in the previous in the previous activity, other people, okay? Yeah. Rafael. Ah, you want to listen to Rafa's voice. All right, Rafa, who is your pair? 
Azalia en Gloria. Ok, Azalia en Gloria. So, uh, Rafael, who do you want to do it with? With Azalia or Gloria? Gloria, it's okay. With Gloria, all right. So let's listen to Gloria and Rafael. I'm sir, Rafael. We will use the chef to analyze the training new of our new servers. It says major task of the position. As servers are in charge of healthy food correctly and processing payment correctly. Friendly, I think with that grooming and personal appearance, the messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Rafa, you say handling. Okay, handling food correctly, handling. Handling. Um, handling. 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 And um, correctly. Okay, correctly. 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 And for everybody, right? Not only for Rafael. And um, let's see. Um, Let's see, let's see you practice with Gloria, right? Gloria, you say appearance, appearance. 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 Appearance, no, appearance. 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 Appearance, yes. Okay, thank you very much. Let's listen to another pair. Uh, so, Rafael, who do you want to listen to? Flor. Flor, okay, yeah, Flor didn't participate in the previous activity. So, Flor, who is your pair, Flor? Uh, Nelson. All right, let's listen to Flor and Nelson. Okay, I start. We will use this chart to analyze the training need or new server. I say major takes of the position. Uh, servers are in share of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget, server, how to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Women and personal appearance that look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Okay, thank you very much okay, for their participations. Now everyone go to reactions and let's give them um, mm -hmm. a tara, all right? <laughs> it appears like that, okay, on my, on, my, on, my, on, my, on my emojis, it appears like tara, okay? I don't know what that is, but... It's like congratulations, I think, okay? <laughs> okay, thank you very much for your participations, everybody. Now, I mean, for the people who participated. Okay, now listen, uh, for the next activity, we are going to work in groups, but listen, I will give you seven or eight minutes, no more than eight minutes, no more than eight minutes. So please, in the group, Tell somebody to take the time. En el grupo de Annie, alguien que le lleve el tiempo. Tell somebody to take the time, okay? So select a timer in the group, okay? And that person is going to be checking the time, okay? For example, if it's Angela, she has to say, hey, we have five minutes. Hey, we have three minutes, let's hurry up, okay? So she is going to be checking the time, okay? Clear? Yes, please. Yes, digo esto, I will say this in Spanish. Digo eso porque a veces les hacemos una, una actividad en grupo y a veces como que se entretienen en otro tema y se ponen a hablar. Son temas importantes, por supuesto, a veces del mismo tema que estamos viendo, pero se salen de la actividad y empiezan a hablar de la misma actividad, pero de otra cosa que no están haciendo. And that's okay, pero siempre y cuando lo hagan en el tiempo establecido. As long as you do it in the established time, okay? So please, seven or eight minutes, no more than that. So let me explain to you, please. Okay, listen, this activity is on page number 36, okay, and here we have a TNA, 
here we have a TNA or training needs analysis, all right? Is to see the needs of the employees to take trainings, okay? And we have a chart using, okay, uh, here, okay? But the chart is incomplete. In groups, you need to complete the information on the chart. Information missing, for example, employee name. Don't tell me, okay, don't tell me. The major tasks of the position, training solutions. What other areas would you uh, like to improve? Training skills needed, yes, no. Uh, TNA, don't buy, Stacy Door, date and organizer of the, of, the, of the event or provider, okay? Good. So you will complete uh, the, the chart using the information here, using this information, okay? You only need to put the information on the correct space. You only need to put this information on the correct space on the chart. Any question? Page number 36. How much time do you have? ¿Cuánto tiempo tienen? How much time do you have? Media hora. No. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Eight minutes maximum, okay? Eight, eight, eight minutes, minutes, minutes maximum, okay? So let's okay. go to work. Nosotros entendemos. Okay, sería Jimmy. This Jimmy Marshall. Marshall. Yes. Jimmy Marshall. Marshall. What's meaning mayor tax? Uh, este está, quiero ver. Um, si me voy a la doctora ahí perdemos tiempo, pero mejor les pregunto. Question. Sí. Mayor tax. Dice que yo vine tarde. ¿Qué es mayor tax? Entiendo que es como la, como la tarea principal o, o algo así de la, del o sea, yes, you're right. puesto. Del nombre que yes, tiene. you're right, Rafa. Okay. The most important duties or tasks. Uh -huh. El literal B, Kitchen Manager. Kitchen Manager. Uh, es como que al puesto que va, ¿no? No sé, no entiendo uh, la pregunta. I don't understand. Como función principal. Ah, como se hace la literal E. Here orders by pickup and delivery patrons choice from bar and kitchen. Uh, yes, because in then in the organizer provider, I think 
its kitchen manager in the escape. Teacher, tenemos que usar todos los cuadritos o sobre algún. All of them. Okay. Sí, creo que está un, one, two. Okay. Um, three, four, five. Okay. G and D. Practical. Very, I say, heavenly credit card is difficult for me. Uh, in, the, in this case, for example, in whatever areas would eight. you like to improve? Okay. Ma major. Ok, fíjense que leyendo esto, chicos, no sé si les parece. Eh, vaya, tenemos el nombre Training Skill Need, is yes, donde dice T, TNA, don't buy Stacy Door. Aquí podríamos, aquí cabe el literal B. O sea, como que Stacy es el, el manager de la cocina, kitchen manager. No, but that's complete. Uh, you don't have to put, yes. you don't have to uh -huh. put anything yes. there because this we have uh, DNA done answer. by Stacy Door. So you don't ah, have to okay. put anything there. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Um, then, <laughs> then. Okay, major task of the position, letter, letter E for me. Server order be, by picking up and delivering patrons choice from bar and kitchen. It's correct. It's correct. Okay. Okay, then and date is letter G, it's, it's clear. Letter? Letter G, G. In, in date. G. And me, organizer provider. And organizer provider, I think it's kitchen manager. Yes, I think, I think the same. Okay. From the IG, solo I, A, B, E, F, C, A, G, G, yes. Yes. What is the what is the meaning grooming and personal appear appearance? Grooming. Grooming is like preparation. Or it has to do with appearance too. Mm -hmm. mm, no. Let me see. Aseo y apariencia personal. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's better. Uh -huh. So it's a it's preparation too, but I think your translation is better, Susana. Okay. Mm -hmm. eh, pero no les entendí que quedaba en major tax on position. Little E. Ah, little E. Sí, que está describiendo todo lo que va a ser las funciones principales, digámoslo así. Ok. A ver, estoy viendo que allá en, en Rafael, donde dice training skills need Yes, yeah. sabemos mm. que necesita uno. El que... Como la... Vale, ya tenemos la A, la E, la A, la E, la F. En B sería la letra G, ¿verdad? Eh, quiero ver. Training solution. Uh, no, es que estás para ir en orden. La siguiente sería training, skills, need. Mm -hmm. Yes or not? Yes. Okay. 
y a la par dice date, que sería la letra G. El septiembre, sábado, 10 de septiembre. Uh -huh. Sí, la G es en date. Uh -huh. Y organiza y provider. Okay. Provider podría ser kitchen manager. Uh -huh. Letter B. Y abajo de Jeff sería la letter D. Mm. Quiero ver. Otra? Training Solutions. Uh -huh. Training Solutions. Uh -huh. En Training Solutions es la letra C. ABC. Servir órdenes, todo eso. Okay, everyone. Um, I suppose everybody finished, right? Or no, not everybody. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, or kind of. All right, very good. Now listen, for this activity, I'm gonna show you the answers, okay? I'm going to show you the answers. So please compare your answers with my answers, okay? And if you have to correct something, correct it. All right, no problem. All right, let me show you my answers and you compare. Okay, just compare. I will give you two minutes to compare, okay? One or two minutes to compare. All right, there you go. Do you see the answers? Yes, teacher. Yes, all right. So compare, please. So employee name is Jimmy Marshall. All right, that's the employee's name. Major tasks of the position. Serve orders by picking up and delivering patrons choices from bar and kitchen. Training solutions. Practical training in restaurant during off hours, okay? What other areas would you like to improve? Handling credit cards is difficult for me. Grooming and personal appearance, okay? So this is what we have here in this one. Um, training skills needed? Yes, right? Okay, yes. Here we have yes. Date? September, Saturday, 10th. Yes. And the organizer or the provider is the kitchen, the kitchen manager. Okay, do you have the same? Manager. Or you have different? Cool. Same? Yes, teacher. That's amazing. Congratulations. Very good. So what about the others? Do you have the same or different? Answers. And training skill needed is yes, because you need to be an expert in your area. That's right. It's yes, right? Of course. Okay. Thank you very much, Asalia. Okay. So did, did everybody compare? Do you have the same different answers? Why? No. No, the same. Okay. Thank you I'm very. Sure. Yes. Maybe I think in the. A square down the the answer yes or no is letter D for training in solutions the, in the white space in the white space is letter D we are for training solutions yes yeah, no no Okay, let me show you again. Let me show you again so you tell me better. Okay, yes. Where, Rafa? Okay, say training skill neither. Yeah. We, we answer yes or no. Uh -huh. We have answer yes or no. Yeah. <laughs> then uh, down the uh, answer, uh, uh -huh. I think. <laughs> We have put the what is the skill near? Don't, don't exist. Don't exist. Uh, yes, in a, in a letter. 
because it's a, it's a, it's the dude. It's a? Okay. In the letters, in the letters don't exist the, the word yes. Because, because it exists. Yes. Because if you, if you mark the, the answer letter Y, this is the answer. And ah, yeah. that means you don't have to say yes. Uh -huh. Then you put, put yes is repeat the ah, answer. Yeah, it's true. So your, your thing, the thing is that we have to omit this, right? Yes, but I think in this, in this, in this space is the letter D. The letter D. Okay, let's see letter D. Let's go and see letter D. So you think in the space it's letter. Okay, hold on a second. Okay. Let me let me check here. So letter D is um. Let me raise this first. Sorry. So it's letter D for you. This one, grooming and personal appearance. I think how how a uh, skill. Okay, skills right here. Grooming and personal appearance is a skill for you. So we need to put letter D here. Yes, it's a skill that they need a training. Oh yeah, me. yeah, it's right. It's correct. Yeah, it's a skill actually. It's right, and we don't have this on the on any other part, right? On the chart that I showed you. On the chart I show you, we don't have it in an, in any other part. Okay. No, right? Oh, but we have it at the end. What other areas would you like to improve? Okay, so we have it here. Grooming and personal appearance. So here you only need to check yes and no, I think. Well, that's my opinion, right? But I don't know, I'm not sure. Okay, uh, because that, that's why it's written just here because you have to write something. Hmm? And, and then, Two, two letters there are answer this this question. Two letters, letter letter A and letter D. Okay. So yes, we have uh, that's right. I, I I get your point. So here we have two answers for this one, right? Yes. Ah, it's yeah, that's answers. correct. So we have two yeah. answers: letter A and letter D. D is correct. Is correct because here we only need to say yes or no. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's confused. It's confused. It's confusing. Yeah, yeah. The thing is that I didn't tell you that you could use two letters. That that's maybe why you got confused because I didn't say you can use two letters in one answer. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why maybe. Okay. Okay. Uh. So. Yeah, that's the reason why maybe Miguel, because I didn't I didn't say you can use two answers for one two letters for one for one sentence, okay, or for one answer. Good. Uh, now let's move on and listen. Uh, in the next part, we have the use of will, uh, and we use will. Just a little introduction. We use will for future. Yes. For example, um, I will check the platform later. I will check the platform later to see the people who have worked. I will check. So I am talking in future, okay? So that's the part we have here, okay? Future. So let me share something here because there's some information on the manual about this, okay? So in, oh my goodness, it's not this one, it's this one. Okay, now look. Here we have some things, but let me move it a little bit. Sorry? Okay. So listen, here we have the different uses of will, okay? And we have that will is used to make predictions, okay? To say that, uh, to say what you believe will happen in the future, it's a prediction, all right? It's a prediction. For example, you can say, oh, we'll study for the exam tomorrow, but you are not sure, pero no están seguros. I will study for the exam tomorrow, it's a prediction. Or you can say maybe, I think it will rain today. I think it will rain today. It's a prediction, you don't know, right? It's a prediction, so, and we have two examples. I think a famous chef will come to the event. It's a prediction because you don't know, okay? Number two, 
The manager will prepare a new training for hosts. You don't know, maybe it's, a, it's uncertain. Okay, no es algo, tal vez que es cierto. It's only a prediction, okay, solo una predicción. So the first use of will is for predictions, okay? The structure, subject, will, and the verb, and the complement, right? Subject, will, uh, the verb, and the complement. That is the, 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 the formula, okay? Number two, the second use of will is for, uh, use will for decisions that you make spontaneously, spontaneously. Decisions that you make spontaneously. That means in the moment, in the moment, I'm, in this moment I make a decision, I use will, okay? Imagine, imagine I'm talking to my wife and I say, we are talking about different topics, right? And I say, oh, wait, I will uh, check Facebook for a moment. It's a spontaneous decision, right? It's a spontaneous decision, yes? So will is for spontaneous decisions. Or maybe, or, or maybe you, can say, you can tell me, oh, teacher, uh, wait, I will, I will see what my son is doing. I will see what my son is doing. We'll see. It's a spontaneous decision. Es una decisión espontánea in the moment, okay? So I use will for spontaneous decision. And we have two examples. Example number one, consumers are complaining about slow service. I will talk to the staff. Spontaneous decision. That server just spilled the soup on the customer. Okay, ese camarero acaba de derramar la sopa sobre el cliente. Decision, I will call the manager. Okay, so we use will to make decisions. The formula, la estructura, subject, will, verb, complement. Yes? Second example. Uh, well, second, uh, uh, yeah, the second example we have the same, the same structure. Subject, will, verb, complement. Okay? The last one. We use will to make a promise or to offer help. To make a promise or to offer help. Look at this promise. I will be there at 9 a.m. It's a promise, right? Teacher, I will get connected today. <laughs> I promise, teacher. I promise today I will get connected. All right? It's a promise, right? So you use will. Teacher, I promise I will do the homework tonight. I promise I will do the homework tonight. It's a promise. So you use will. Yes? Very good. And the last example, I will help you offering help, for offering help, para ofrecer ayuda. I will help you prepare the documents for the training. Okay? Imagine I am co-workers with Rafael. Somos compañeros con Rafael. And he's coming with three boxes. Y viene con tres cajas bien pesadas. And I am talking to Azalia. And, I, and, I, and we are gossiping, okay? We are gossiping with Azalia. And Rafael is coming with three boxes. And I say, oh, Azalia, I say, wait, wait. I will help Rafael offer help, okay? I will help Rafael in this moment. So wait, we continue gossiping in a moment, okay? Seguimos el chambre luego. You, we continue gossiping later, okay? Good. Um, so we use concluding will for three purposes. Purpose number one, to make predictions. Purpose number two, for decisions that you make spontaneously and purpose number three to make promises or to offer help structure estructura subject aquí la voy a escribir encima okay subject plus will plus verb plus complement okay so that is the structure in negative, you don't say will, you say want, okay? I won't get connected to class tomorrow. Yo no me conectaré, I won't get connected. So in negative, you say want, 
Any question? Any en, las tres, en las tres maneras siempre va a ser la misma. Yes, we use will yeah. for the three forms. The same yeah. structure. Say the, the four. Yeah, the same structure, la misma estructura for the three forms, for predictions, for spontaneous decision, and for promises and help. Okay, thank you. Okay, Be no sure. problem. Yes, Miguel? Uh, the verb is in, in present. Yes, everything. yes. Everything. Yeah, the verb okay. is in present. Look, be, help, prepare, come, talk, call. The verb oh. is in present in the base form. El verbo va en su forma base. Is in the base form. Any other question? No? And it's for future, okay? It's for future predictions, for spontaneous decisions, for offering help, and for making a promise. So no, other, no more questions? It's clear now? Yes. Negative one. Okay, so I give you like four minutes. In four minutes, complete the sentences using complete the sentences using will and the verb in parentheses, okay? And the verb in parentheses. Example number one, don't worry. I will show you how to process a credit card payment. Continue with the others, please. Four minutes. Continuemos con las demás, con las demás, sorry. No solo pongan el will y el verbo, lean la oración, read the sentence, okay? Read the sentence, please. We have one in negative, right? It's number five. And for negative, I say you have to use want, okay? Want. Like this. Or you can say will not, okay? Will not or want, any, cualquiera de los dos. Will not or want.
Are you ready to check? Yes, no? Okay, let's see. Um, I want to see people who haven't participated today. Let me see. Susanna, so, yeah. you, will share, you will share number one, Susanna. Number one is done, but you read it, please, okay? Uh, number two, we are going to listen to Mayra, okay? You will do number two, Mayra. Uh, number three, we listen to Michelle and Ada. Number three, Jansi, okay? Jansi, number three. Number four? Me, teacher, Adriana. Oh, Adriana, okay. Adriana, thank you, Adriana. It's nice to hear you. Uh, so number, you. number four, I said for you, right, Adriana? Adriana, which number did I give you? Three. Three, okay, so... Oh. Jansi, I said number? Three. Number three. Okay, so you have number four. Uh, me, four. 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 Yeah, four. four, please. Number four, please. Osmin. Hello, Osmin. Hi, hi, teacher. I, I, I know I know participate because I have problem here. Okay. okay, no problem. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Thank you. Uh, so, Floor, you do number five then. Okay, Floor, number five. And number six. Ada, Angela, sorry, Angela, okay? Number six, Angela. Okay, let's listen to number one. Don't worry, I will show you now. I will show how to process a credit card payment. Okay, thank you very much, Susana. Number two. I'm sure you will have a good time at the training. Excellent. I'm sure you will have a good time at the training. Thank you, Mayra. Number three, the training. Number three. The training needs analysis will be a success. Will be a success. Excellent, Jansi. The training needs analysis will be a success. Will be. Thank you, Jansi. Number four. I promise I will do my best to get a good score in the evaluation. Excellent. Thank you. I hope so. Es espero. I hope so. <laughs> I promise, right? I promise. Okay. I promise. Good. Thank you very much, Adriana. Number five. Teacher, no, no le he no le, no le dado respuesta. Okay. Uh, who wants to help Flora? ¿Quién quiere ayudarle a Flor? Who wants to help Flor? Ok, Rafael, thank you. Ok, Rafa. She, she won't be late to, meet, to the meeting. Exactly. In negative, you say want, I said, right? So the answer is she won't be late to the meeting. Ok, thank you, Rafa. Thank you for your help. En number ¿Cómo, six. Queda, ¿Cómo quedaría? Es negativa, ¿verdad? Es negativa. Y dije que para el negativo vamos a usar el want o el will not. Want. Yes? So, aquí está, aquí se lo estoy resaltando ahorita. ¿Ok? Want or will not. Cualquiera de los dos. Any of them. Yes? Ok, let's see the last one. Number six. The manager will work hard to help you as improve. Excellent. Okay, will work, will work. Will work. Will work. Okay, thank you very much for your participation. So please go to reactions and let's give the participants a wow. Let's give participations a wow. Okay, thank you very much. And let me pass the attendance quickly. Ada? Present teacher. Adriana? Present. Ana Michelle? Present. Angela? Present teacher. Darwin? Present teacher. Flor. Present. Good night. Good night, Gloria. <laughs> no se vayan, le voy a dar un anuncio rápido. Ok. Joana. Joana. Ok. Lourdes. Margarita. Mayra. Present. Miguel. 
Present teacher. Nelson? Present teacher. Opel, uh, oh yeah, she's. Okay, let's see, Osmin. Present teacher. Rafael? Present. Rosa? Present. Sandra? Present. Jansi? Present. Surma? Present. Azalia? Present. I thought she was sleeping. Ingrid? And Susana? Susan? Okay, thank you very much. Okay, just before you go, antes de que se vayan, eh, saben el día jueves, eh, saben que es el día que terminamos eh, la sección 4. Así que por favor, completar tareas con tiempo y me han dicho ahorita, bueno, ahora en la tarde, ya como a las 5 y media, me mandaron un texto diciéndome que se pongan al día con las tareas hasta la fecha. Así que por favor, ponerse al día con las tareas hasta la fecha, de acuerdo a los contenidos que vamos, porque ellos están revisando siempre constantemente la plataforma. Así que ponerse al día, por favor, ¿ok? So, uh, thank you very much. Teacher, no último días. anuncio. Sí. Uh, el día miércoles por la mañana van a estar recibiendo todavía la documentación a los que les falte. Ok, muchas gracias, Nelson, por la información. Gracias, Nelson. Muchas gracias. Así para Ay, mí que sí. Yeah, for yeah. Darwin, that's important. Ok, so, uh, solo se queda entonces. Yes. Yo tengo un inconveniente con una tarea por el apóstrofe. Porque yo, o sea, supongo que es eso, pero pongo varios, pero no me lo acepta. Copia y pegue, no, no le aparece copia copiar y pegar. Ah, no, no me, no, no, no lo he intentado así. Copia y pegue. Porque sí me genera problema. Copia y pegue, al menos esa parte del apóstrofe. Okay. Y me comenta, ahí me puede escribir un mensajito, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, thank you very much everybody for connecting today. You, tomorrow, we have, tomorrow we have no classes, okay? We have classes until yeah. Wednesday, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so thank you for connecting and see you on Wednesday. Take Happy care and goodbye. Bye. Bye bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>
Esta es la cláusula número uno. Y la cláusula, la cláusula número dos lleva I would, o voy a decir my mother, en este caso. Let me, let me check this. Or my, yeah, my mother, okay? My mom. Um, okay, hold on a second. My mom, I will say wouldn't, okay? Wouldn't have. Aquí puede ser wouldn't or would, okay? I am putting negative, okay. but you can say would too. Wouldn't have been so angry, okay? Now, what is the case here? ¿Cuál es el caso aquí? What is the case here? So on the second part, uso el subject, obviamente, y luego la estructura would have, o wouldn't have, okay? Would have or wouldn't have, and the same. Y el verbo, lo estoy encerrando en cuadrito porque es el verbo, okay? Va en pasado participio. Okay, so if I had cleaned okay. the house, my mom wouldn't have been so angry. Si hubiese limpiado la casa, mi mamá no habría estado tan enojada. That's the meaning in Spanish, okay? okay. Yes? This is like yes. for, we said that this, the purpose of this is for repent or remorse, okay? Dijimos que el propósito era para arrepentimiento o para remordimiento. Aquí más bien creo que es arrepentimiento. Ajá. Uh -huh. Arrepentimiento, uh -huh. sería repent. Yeah. Because o my sea, mom de is que, so angry. Right. Sí. Yeah. O sea, uh -huh. que... o sea de que en la primera parte el verbo va siempre en pasado y en, participio. El, en la segunda. Pasado participio. Que es muy diferente eh... al pasado. Ah. En este caso, tal vez tú dices pasado porque tiene la ED. Ajá. El detalle, el Pero detalle sí, es que es los... cierto. Ajá, el detalle es que los verbos irregulares siempre llevan ED. Aunque sea pasado, pasado Ajá. participio, pero en realidad aquí es un pasado participio. Pasado participio. Y lo Ajá. mismo acá, es un pasado participio. Aquí ya cambió, ah, mira, okay. porque es un verbo irregular. ¿Ok? Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Y eh, esto solo se puede ocupar con would y con could. Ajá, también podría ir could. Ajá. O, 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 o pueden ir los modales también. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, podría ir might. Ah. Mm -hmm. Might, could, I for example. Mm -hmm. Ah, so I could ah, say. Sí. Uh, uh -huh. Ajá. Ajá. Uh -huh. Mi mamá tal vez no se hubiera. Podría molestado. haber estado contenta. Ajá. Podría. Uh -huh. She could have been happy. Podría. Ajá. Uh -huh. If I had cleaned the house, my mother could have been could could have been happy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Y y con should no. ¿Sí? No, con, el, no el shoe, con el shoe es otra cosa. Ya no es un, algo diferente. Es ah, very okay. different thing. Con el shoe we had it, right? Uh, para, para, para decir cosas de las que me arrepiento con el shoe, dijimos, we said, ok, let me, let me raise this. Esto ya estamos bien, ¿verdad? We are clear with this. Ajá. Ok. Uh, para eso usamos la estructura subject plus should have plus Verb más el verbo en pasado participio. En the complement, right? Si hay un complemento, si es necesario, ¿ok? Yeah. Ah, If this is for okay. repent, for example, you can say, um, I will say, should, I should have, I should have um, paid, for example, I should have paid the bills. I should have paid the bills before. Okay? Okay. Debí haber pagado los recibos antes. Los recibos antes. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a remorse somehow. De alguna forma es un remordimiento porque me cargaron mora. Okay? They, they, they uh -huh. charge me extra money. Ajá, uh -huh. la estructura es subject, should have, Verbo en pasado participio en the complement, if, if necessary, ¿ok? Ok. Yeah. Yes. Very ah, pues sí, sí, ya lo entendí. <laughs> ¿Sí? Ahora sí. Sí, hoy sí, ya lo entendí. Ok, very good. It's fine. Ok. Sí, que esa era más que toda la, la duda que tenía. Ah, ok. No problem then. Thank you for staying. 
<laughs> Gracias a usted. <laughs> okay, no problem. So, do you have any other questions? No, solamente esa tenía, esa duda tenía. Okay, okay, Ana Michelle. Thank you very much then for staying and good night. Good night, teacher. All right, bye bye. See you on Wednesday. Yes, bye. Okay, bye.